But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing some... What's up, Darth Knight? Hey, Bernie. Hello, Draconian. We're going to be doing some nice, relaxed city skylines. I thought before I actually started, I'd show you a few bits and bobs. We're going to be going something, um, if you want to play along with me, of course. We're going to be going ahead and using something called Seventh Island Enhanced, which I saw this on um, on the Steam Workshop and I thought, ah, oh, that looks like a nice map. We'll have a go at that one. <laughs> nice and easy. In addition to that, we're using something called the Rhinestone Island... Um, it's a colour correction thing, which theoretically should make it look a little bit nicer. Gull, can you let me out of prison? I promise not to rebel again. No. You will forever be in prison, sir. Uh, looking at our mobs, mods, we've got a few things. I can't speak this evening. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Maybe I should have another sip of coffee. <laughs> oh, delicious. We've got the clouds and fog toggler, which allows us to disable clouds and distance fog that blocks your view when zooming out says there. We've got Daylight Classic, which brings back a slightly different uh, pigmentation when it comes to daylight. Um, extra landscaping tools. I don't really intend to use those, but I may find myself having to find it. Uh, very, very useful mod. Fine Road Tool. Oft. <laughs> I can't cope. Improved Public Transport, which was um, something that Bernie absolutely required me to have, otherwise he would, uh, I don't know, commit some kind of ritual suicide. I I'm not sure. Uh, I'm good, Bingo. How about yourself? Uh, we also have a loading screen mod. Don't know how that works yet. Just installed it about five minutes ago. We have Move It, which allows us to move things. Uh, Precision Engineering, which gives us a little bit more information um, about roads while placing them. Traffic Manager, President Edition. Again, something that I've been told I must have. Uh, and I think that's it for our mods. Styling-wise, we've gone for the European um, buildings. That only affects high-density districts, I believe, so we're still going to be stuck with some pretty awful low-density stuff. But, um, yeah, uh, that's what we got right now. There are a lot of assets that I had a look at, some of them which you can see don't... Uh, and some of them that work wonderfully, but uh, it's kind of old French-style stuff. I'm not going to use them for this playthrough because some of them are broken and I need to go through them again and... Uh, have a, have a look. <laughs> Bernie is claiming that it was just a suggestion, but it's not true. Right, there's seven, Seventh Island. There it is, Rhinestone Island. And look at that. Doesn't it look? Doesn't it look handsome? Let's start. What's up, Khan? How are you going? Don't make me go Ferengi. All right. Let's see what this um, this assets thing of a joggy does did you get any more of the dlc no i didn't I'm, I'm not really in a position to be able to do so at the moment i'm afraid bingo uh perhaps in the future i will be but uh th things have been pretty tight lately so not uh not on my list of things to do in the short term possibly in the longer term i will uh I'll certainly have a look at them. Some of them look very, very interesting, like the Park's Life form looks great. Industries? I, mm, I'm not so bothered about Industries, but Park's Life looks... Looks like we're getting that. I don't know if that actually made loading any faster. Right, hello. Let's pause and have a look around the map, shall we? Uh, I should have permanent daytime on. Uh, it's better if we check that, isn't it? Take a look at gameplay. Uh, um, misc. Not like it saved most of my settings. Day night cycle here somewhere. You turn off and on. I just can't remember where. Oh, there you use day night cycle, and I've switched it. Yeah, that's. Uh, I've also switched dynamic weather off for the time being. Nighttime can look beautiful, uh, and it may be something kind of once I've got a city built out uh, that I make use of. But at present, I, I just don't think it's something that we need. Necessarily... 
think so. This is the map that we're using. Um, at present, we've only got use of this little square here. Look at it. Look at what you can do. All these beautiful little islands that we have over here. Down here as well. Generally, it's just a very handsome map on the top. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually even get up on those cliffs, but if, but if we can, that'll be awesome. Oh, look at this. It's a nice looking map. Not all that much buildable area. Uh, there is a certain lighting style that I'm supposed to use for these waterfalls. Um, but clearly I'm not doing so. <laughs> oh, is that something that I can... There are some settings that I can... Theoretically. Help. We've got the Rhinestone Island. Theoretically, that should work. I don't like to unlock all tiles at the start of the game either. I, I, I'm a bit funny when it comes to games of this nature. I, I, I really like... One thing that we could do, extremely useful, is these rail lines, I think, are live. Yeah, these rail lines are actually live, so I could just delete that and put a train station in there uh, fairly early on. Um... I'm not convinced that I want my entrance to be here. I don't have a lot of choice right now. But if I buy this tile later on, perhaps I'll do something with that. But the first thing that we're going to do is, want, is we're going to want a road. That makes good sense, doesn't it? So let's uh, put the curvature tool on. And I think our first port of call is going to be to build a roundabout. So think it. Come out, uh, this is going to be a big ass uh, roundabout. Hey. Ten. Ten. What do you mean, distance too short? Don't lie to me. Don't you fucking lie to me! Ten. And that should be 10. There we go, we've got a nice little roundabout there. Which is going to be very helpful. Now, the next thing I want to do is bring this to about yeah, Cycle it off a little ways. We're going to do the same this time, but of course we're going to have to move it around. Be about here again. And then cycle it off that way. Naturally, one thing that we are going to have to do is we'll click on Upgrade, and I think what we do is we right-click here. Yep, there we go. So that is going back in the loop. And we also want to upgrade these to one-way roads. Alright, so we've got our little one-way loop. I wouldn't go so far as to say I've learned how to make pretty. What about your beach house? Don't you worry, my friend. Look at this down here. You're going to have a cliffside retreat, my friend. A cliffside retreat. So that is our entrance into and exit out of the city. That should, in wild theory, work quite nicely. But one thing that I do want to try and do is I, try, I want to try and use the uh, landscape to my advantage. I'm very, very aware of money. So... One thing that we do need to do quite early on is try and start making cash. Now, I think what I'd like to do... Try and not worry ourselves. Say space already occupied, you know it's not true. Uh, <laughs> oh, Broco, thank you so much for the cheers, my man. I really do appreciate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and bring that down here. Um... This land looks a little bit too knobbly bobbly So what we will do is come back here. Or will we? That looks like a nice place to start residences, doesn't it? So let's go for a 90 degree move. Come here. I know, I know you're not convinced. Um... 
that's theoretically 90 degrees. But I think we can pull this back so it works pretty well with the current landscape. That looks like it's going to be about bang on. Very, very small gap in between, but nothing too serious. And then I think we'll tie that back into there. A little bit of a uh, harsh edge, but not a problem. That's going to be our beginning... Shut up! Uh, that's going to be our beginning residential district. Might be better if we just use a blobby tool here. Going to be a little bit of loss by virtue of the fact that I'm not doing things in these perfectly straight. I hate doing things in straight. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> it is ugly. Now, the other thing we've got to concern ourselves with pretty quickly is water. Let's take a look. So, water's flowing this way. It would be better for us if we got our initial inflow here and perhaps our outflow over... We'll call it there for the time being. Link them up with pipes. We need to bring another pipe all the way over here to cover our new little district. That's all fine. Electricity wise, I want to go for a green city and I've noticed a few spots up here should allow us to make use of the high winds and that one's already connected which is lovely. I hate the fact that I've got it. I want to delete the rocks. <laughs> That's sad. Pull that up the side of the mountain and out here. And that should service our uh, residential area. And that is basically all we're going to need to start our city off, I think. Bring! Hooray! Water pumping station has been constructed. Fresh water. Mare rocks. I know, I know. I know. It might be good for us to continue with this nice little theme here. So, um, there. Question is about where we're about here. I think we should be able to beautifully. road here. It's going to be a secondary residential district. Paint all this in as well. Ooh, painted a bit. Nice beginning living there wouldn't that be great just looking over the uh, over the vista down there oh how nice I've been trying to get more fans for a long time my friend <laughs> now in order to have an industrial area I want that to be a decent amount of distance away from my residential area. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this off here. I'm going to go into curvature. About here. Curve it off that way. Then. Fairly happy with that. curvature. Try and keep the trees there for the time being. I, I want a clean city ultimately. So hopefully... Oh no. Back to a straight line. Here. Back to a curvature. Just see if we can put that there. Now, we can't make districts at the moment, so I can't make that into a forestry area. But ultimately, I'll need to. But for the time being, let's squidge in a load of this. 
There you go. There's a nice industrial area for us. Commercial, rather unsurprisingly, bring kind of here. So it hits all the intersections nicely. That should do the job for the time being. But of course, it's going to be a little boon of contention. We'll just run it straight through and over there. Naturally, electricity. Again, don't want this to be a permanent fixture. We are going to need it for a little while. Oh. Is anybody else having buffering issues or is it just Jarrell? If it's just Jarrell, then I'm afraid. Right angle doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? Let's pause. Thinking. What I might need to do here. And have it coming off like that. Not sure if that's a good idea or not. We'll, we'll, we'll find out the hard way, I imagine. We are losing money, and that's something I need to keep an eye on desperately. Trying to make a clean city using uh, these windmills here is yeah, not necessarily ideal. Like our commercial areas are struggling for power. Hopefully things will fill in. Come on. Have a look at that. There you go. It's it's filled in now. We're okay. Looks like most of these have naturally become kind of forestry areas. Look at this. But that's life. Perhaps, Jarrell, you should try... A different method of watching. As in, if you're using the Twitch app, use Chrome. If you're using Chrome, use... Oh, whatever. Looks like we still got people moving in. Demand is quite low. We don't need to worry about it for the time being. to uh, suggest in the chat that Jarrell tries a different um, um, a different thing. Like, for example, if he's using Google Chrome, he might want to try Edge. Just as an example. Now, I do think it might be within our realms of interest when I come off about here and then have another filter lane there. If we do that, that's going to make things a little bit more viable and easy later on. And it does also allow us to zone a little bit more commercial, as I say, use later. Should be okay. We don't need more of that at the moment. We do need, however, a little bit more residential. So, where are we going to go with that? We're no longer losing money, which is just lovely. I think what I want to do, I want to curl this around. Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. Curl too aggressively. It's going to be difficult. Don't you fucking lie to me! Not here. Curl around this way. That's kind of cliffside. Oh, these ones will be too soon. Okay. Um, he's going to be far from perfect, I'm afraid, folks, but please must. Oh, 
Oh, that was straight. No. That's gonna have to do. Okay, an absolute ton of residential here. As it closes in, up it. Little intersection. Sorry about that. And we'll have a little bit of commercial just to make citizens in that specific spot a bit happy. Water to come over here. Whee! Oh, uh oh, power issues. There we go, that's, that's updated. We're okay. I have set traffic to the right-hand side of the road just to make you happy, Bernie. It's all for you. It was a doggy! Excited about the dog there. It's probably a bit much. Looking to get some more industrial. Okay. does it we need it clearly there's going to be a problem there oh somehow we're getting away with that no we're not <laughs> and that's gonna have a big old whinge in a moment we'll pause still in that industrial zone as I say, really would like this all to be forestry, ultimately. Really not to, doesn't it? More or less got covered. Big up. What we'll do is we'll sneak this around. I'll do. So that should, at least temporarily, be all of our demands covered, or catered for, in one way or another. Let's zoom forward. See what we get. A tsunami. <laughs> what a beautiful way into the city to see all this industrial do. That tends to be the way of things though, doesn't it? Out, out on the outskirts of any city or town you find these. Uh, it might also be worth me starting to try and get some citizens edge. Kind of set this area aside. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Might not be for some of them up in the outskirts here. A bit dodgy, but put it here. It's at least good enough to get some of them educated. We do also need. Um, oh, Worthy Village! How nice! What else do we get for that? Firehouse, police stations. Okay, things are going to start getting expensive. You, your upkeep is only 160 a week, and yours is 960. That is a huge difference. Um. I think we're okay with landfill for now. Put a landfill right at the edge of the city, just so people coming in can see it. Um, <laughs> they know what to expect. Get a firehouse somewhere that is going to help our citizens. 
think this side is going to be my preference. And we're going to need some police. So by and large, we should be okay for the time being. It does want a little bit more residential zoning and we'll facilitate that shortly. Just want to make sure I'm not losing money. So road-wise, hoping I can get away with it. I need to come round to a back and then start curling. Again, maybe just need to bring it. Out. And then curl it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it match. I like it. Grab some more residential. Paint this entire segment. Check for water. A bit. Just about managed it, so let's not worry about it. See that our profits have gone way, way down since we put the school, etc. You see, these are the European style firehouses and schools. They look nice. I just, I much prefer this style of building. I don't know about you. Looks like a little bit more uh, commercial is requested. We do have room over here for commercials. Not kid ourselves and say that we. Uh oh seems to be. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. You've got water availability. Power availability is already a problem. Okay. And you know what? Let's just put another one in for redundancy there. Well, you're not having power problems. You're just lying to yourself. Hopefully the commercial area here will grow. I do need to leave some space here so I can get a bridge coming across right here. That's that's one of my goals. Got so much open space there that we can really fill up. We're going to make a, an interesting town centre here, hopefully. These are kind of the burbs. Can set districts now if we choose to. to. Turn this into a foresty forestry district. Having said that, we've already killed all the trees here. Wait. Let's take a look at the pollution map. Well, there's sound. Oh, nice. Nice. Where's pollution? Uh, no. A pollution thing here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, even nicer. <laughs> now, later on, uh, if we look at garbage, I do have a mod that uh, that allows us to have a recycling centre. If the pollution recedes, the trees do indeed regrow. I'd like to have a recycling centre. They're very, very expensive, however. Set some policies if we want. I'm not going to bother right now. Doesn't seem worth it. Uh, traffic is currently viable. No problems with traffic. Still got a commercial demand on. I suppose we could build some commercial. Yeah, yeah, couldn't we? Very nice. 